I have a new build challenge for you and this one is a bit different than my normal shell challenges. I created this Sims family and you are tasked with building them a house. It's kind of styled after house hunters which is why the hashtag for this challenge is hashtag Sarah's house hunters and in the description it says all about what they want. These are the Loftons. Lulu is a lawyer. Aubrey is an artist. They have two kids, Jayla and Jonah. And they are looking for a three bed, two and a half bath house between 75 and 90,000 simoleons. Their favorite colors are pink, yellow, and gray and they are open to any style and all you have to do is build them a house. So let me show you what I built. So originally when I wrote the description, I actually said that they would prefer something mid-century or eco or craftsman. Like those were their favorite styles, but I literally just ran out of space in the description. So I just said that they were open to any style. And I also feel like that's a better idea because one of the things that I love so much about my shell challenges are that so many people build in a bunch of different styles and we get to observe that. And so I didn't want to put limits on the style. And also certain styles work better with certain packs. Like mid-century really comes with a lot of get famous stuff and bowling night stuff and dream home decorator. So I didn't want to like put people with less packs at a disadvantage. So build it in whatever style that you would like. I went with an eco vibe and we took forever on this outside. What happened, I was so like set on Jayla's room being like a little lofted area up at the top. But then I was like looking at the house and I was like, that literally just looks so weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it would look better with a full entire second floor. Like this house that I built would look better that way. And then the roofing, like literally the whole first stream of this, we spent an hour making the family about an hour and a half on the roofing and then maybe 30 minutes on the inside. Like the whole entire first stream, I streamed for like three hours at a time, by the way, is within the first two minutes of this speed build. So that's really fun. But I decided to go with actual roof pieces just because I felt better about that. I could not make the platforms work. I'm like not as skilled at that as I think some people are. And another thing that I did cut a lot out of in this speed build was messing around with platforms on the inside and fences. Because my vision for this was that the entryway is up on a platform and then there's fences to kind of create a separation of space. And then I wanted like a big kids play area in the middle. And we do kind of stray from that. I feel like if I were to redo this, I would do a different house. But we had already done a entire stream with this house. So I didn't change it. Also, I really, really want to have this video out for you. I did already post about the challenge on my TikTok, but I don't know when this YouTube video is going up. I'm actually leaving and I'm going to be out of town like this weekend. I'm filming this on Thursday and I'm going to be out of town Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I'm coming back on Wednesday. So ideally I wanted to have this, you know, edited and uploaded or like set to upload this weekend, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm really taking a risk and I'm going to download Premiere Pro onto my MacBook Air and we are going to see if I can edit this video. The odds are not looking good. It's really not looking good for me. I would say I feel really bad that this video probably won't be out until next Thursday or Friday, but that might just be what it has to be. Oh, and I didn't mention tours. Tours are going to be May 1st and 3rd over on my, I almost just said YouTube channel, my Twitch channel, which as we know is twitch.tv slash Sarah Kendall. And I'm super, super excited because this is the first time I've done a challenge like this. I normally do shells, but I'm wondering what other people think of this challenge. Let me know if you have fun with this one for sure. And yeah, I think my first stream back after my trip is going to be the 22nd. My first stream back after like a week should be super fun. So you don't want to miss it. Make sure you're following on Twitch. And this kitchen, oh my gosh, this kitchen, I actually like the kitchen, but the thing is I left in the part where I, I like do open shelving and I clutter it all up and it's so cute. But then I went to Manage Worlds and I went back into the lot and the clutter was gone. And as you may understand, I am in a bit of a time crunch here. So I didn't want to redo it. I maybe won't upload this to the gallery until like I'm back from my trip. I have more time to think, more time to replace the clutter. But yeah, it was not looking good for me. You might even notice later in the speed build, like I just like pause, I go back over there and I go, well, like in real life, I was like, <gasps> Obviously, I didn't get that on camera, but it was quite shocking and appalling. But I'm using the red shelf mod to clutter up these shelves. If you don't know what that is, it is a mod that kind of slides to any part of the wall. It's like a piece of custom content, a shelf of custom content, and it has a gajillion slots on it. So like big item slot to it, small item slot to it. Like it's very, very useful. And so I lined it up with those shelves and then I could just kind of freely place my clutter to be at the exact same height instead of using the nine key or other any other kind of weird tricks. It's a lot faster than using the tool mod, which is what I used to do. So I really do recommend the red shelf mod. I believe it's called the OMSP red shelf sims for just search that. But yeah, kind of sad that all of the clutter got deleted. You know, I don't really expect any more or less from this game. Do those kind of mean the same thing in this context? I don't expect any more from this game. Like I don't expect it to actually work. I don't expect more and I don't expect less. Like the highest standard of this game to me is my clutter all getting deleted. Interesting. I never thought about that, but either way you can see that the clutter looked really cute. My Sims that will move in here will not. Oh, I also wanted to mention, I am thinking about starting a vlog channel and I don't think I do anything that interesting that I would be posting super, super regularly. I'm going to New York to see 
see my friends. This is the first trip that I've gone on in like so long, like since I started being a Sims YouTuber. I just saw a bug fly around. That's not good. So I think it might be fun to vlog it. I am so out of the vlogging game. Like I haven't made any type of like lifestyle video in so long. So I don't even know if it'll be good, but I might make a third channel. Cause we have this channel, we have my streamer uploads channel. So make sure you are subscribed over there. And the third channel, which would be the vlog or just extra content. I think I'm just gonna call it extra Sarah Kendall. Cause the vlog channel is more Sarah Kendall. You can find more Sarah Kendall over there, but extra Sarah Kendall, it kind of implies like bonus. Like you don't need it, but it's just extra. So I might do that, but I also might not do that, but we'll see. If I do, I will link it down below. So go check that out. And then in the dining area over here, we did open concept. Literally, what a surprise. We have this whole like one elevated, like elevated platform and then the kitchen. Well, actually not the whole living area, but there is like a separate living area with a shelf and a little sitting area is all over there. And honestly, I make a little plant corner and you definitely need to see that. I was like watching back me do that when I was making the like speed build video. And like, it just kind of reminds me that The Sims 4 is actually a very gorgeous game. Like she is very beautiful to me with her graphics when you can run it on like, ultimate lighting or ultra lighting, whatever you call it. It's very beautiful. Oh my gosh. And the budget with this one, I made it 75,000 to 90,000 because Lulu is a lawyer. I think I made her a level seven lawyer and Aubrey, her wife is an artist. I don't know what level I made her. I didn't put her in the artist career. She's just a self-employed artist. So like, honestly, like realistically, their budget could have been a little bit bigger because my Twitch chat was telling me, I think lawyers at the top level at level 10 make like 3000 simoleons a day, but I think 75 to 90,000 is a good budget. I almost went over budget. You see at the end, I kind of have to like adjust and sell an item or two to make sure that we stayed within the budget. And if you go over budget, that's fine. Cause you know, like in-house hunters, they'll always look at like a couple that are maybe like 10,000, 20,000 over their budget. So like, don't worry if it's over budget, I will gladly still take a look at it. And same thing if it's under budget, if you can do it under budget too, that's totally fine. Just have fun. Like, I think it's so fun. Like some of my favorite ever shell challenge builds are the ones that have a backstory. Like I love how some of you literally make an entire story about your builds and I love that. So like, obviously this isn't a very deep backstory. It just kind of like is Sims to build for, but I think it's really fun to have that inspiration for a build. Cause a lot of times, I mean, at least I notice when I do like my shell challenges or just any kind of build, it's really kind of hard to get a whole concept, get in a decor idea when you don't have an entire backstory. And I always say how I feel like all of my builds look the same. I think I'm getting better about that, but I think that's also a reason why a lot of my builds have looked the same is because I never have a backstory. So I'm just kind of going with what I think looks good. And obviously I think a lot of different things look good, but certain things, I think, especially in The Sims 4, like contemporary suburban contempo, I think looks really nice. So yeah, and then we have these eco lifestyle fences like bordering the entryway. I think I end up changing the front of those fences to something different because it just kind of felt really blocky and really separated. So I ended up changing those and you know what? I don't even remember what I changed them to. And I was looking at this, no wait, I wasn't looking at this one on the gallery yet. I was looking at the build that I did right before this on my channel, the coloring book challenge. It like weirdly uses so many packs. I didn't realize how many packs I was using in that. But I was like, this is more packs than usual. Like, I don't know what I did here. So I definitely do wanna be a little more mindful of that. Obviously I know that I should just play the game how I wanna play the game, but I do love my my viewers and I want to make a lot of accessible builds for a lot of you. I even was thinking of doing like a poll in the discord or like figuring out some way to poll like our community and see what are the most commonly owned packs so that when I do limited pack builds, like I can have like a top amount of packs that I can choose from so that the most of you can get them. Oh, and this is the, the plant corner that I just thought was so, so beautiful, so gorgeous. I love using that little stool from Jungle Adventure and putting a plant on top of it. I actually learned that from one of my creator friends. Hi, I'm Nicole. If you don't know who she is, she is awesome. She makes content here on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch, and she's amazing. So shout out to her. I'll link her channel down below. She is where I first learned that idea to put a plant on top of the stool. Even though the stool is technically a sitting item and like considered a chair in the game, it works so well in a little plant corner. And honestly, that stool is the size that side tables should be in The Sims 4. I talked about this in my last video too. Like why do they just insist on making certain items? It's not even all items. It's like certain items are just gigantic for no reason. You know what? It's fine. Also, so I added this parenthood tile to the kitchen and I was like, oh man, like I remember when I first added that, I was like, oh man, I wish this would look good because that kind of matches our vibe and our color scheme so much. And then I just like looked at it for a little bit longer and I was like, no, it, it does look good. Like it genuinely looks good. And I also cut out a lot of the other kitchen cluttering just to, you know, keep the speed build moving along. But I think overall, I do like this house. I really love, I used the boldly brushed wall swatch, which if you, again, if you watch my last video, I was talking about it, about how nice it is. And I always forget that it comes 
with the Courtyard Oasis kit and it just like has really nice texturing on it, really nice variations, very subtle, but really, really nice and realistic looking. Oh my gosh, in the living area, I literally tried so many different layouts for the living area until I finally found one that I liked. I was really wanting to use that couch from the Decor to the Max kit, but I didn't really know if it like spoke to me, if it really fit with the vibes. And unfortunately, I do think I end up using a wall hanging TV, which will look like it's floating if you play with the wall's cutaway view. However, I guess I don't normally play with the wall's cutaway view. I usually play with the entirety of walls up and I kind of just didn't realize I did that until I started doing more gameplay on TikTok live and like all of the comments I got are why do you have the walls up? Why do you have the walls up? I literally told myself I would not complain about TikTok comments in this speed build so don't worry that was the only time but I didn't really realize that I did it and I really didn't realize that it was abnormal. I think I used to play with walls cutaway a lot but something about having all the walls up is very pleasing to me because sometimes I put on wall decor and it disappears when I put the walls down so it's like I put in so much effort for this build why would I play with the walls down and not be able to see it? You know it really makes you think but I do love this yellow couch I think it's very very nice and that rug from dream home decorator goes so nice with it I mean obviously because it's also from dream home decorator But I love that swatch like the pink the yellow and the purple That's also perfect for our sims because I believe lulu her favorite colors are purple pink yellow and gray And I think aubrey's favorite colors are pink blue yellow and gray, but it definitely pop into the game I made the family completely base game. I'm pretty sure at least with their traits I think the lawyer career comes with discover university, but all of their traits and like clothing are base games so like if you want to pop on in there and like look at their skills look at their traits and likes and dislikes that can definitely help inform your decor choices as well and now we're getting into the part this part I did all off stream so I remember telling my stream at the end I was like this is the last you will see of this build until I finish it and upload it to YouTube but I did this last night I did it while watching the one and only Mike's Mike recap of Glee so good if you don't know Mike is one of my friends and I'm I was just so excited for this video like so much work went into it it's literally so so iconic. So shameless, not self promo for Mike's Mike. Go subscribe if you haven't already. And that is what I was watching while I was uh, building this, which was super fun. I love putting like video essays or like a podcast or something on like a Twitch stream in the background while I'm like building or like playing another kind of chill game. It really helps me focus on it. I am a huge Glee fan. I don't know if, if you all knew that. Well, Glee fan, you know, yeah, is that really what I mean? I don't know. Cause like Glee had so many things that were so questionable, even for the times. Like I think looking back, you might be like, oh, well, like the times were different. I'm like, no, some of that, like I watched Glee as it aired. Some of that was a little questionable. <laughs> I've watched it at least like, I think six times all the way through. And the funniest thing is the first time that I was watching it through, I never remember watching Glee as it aired, but I remember the first time I watched it all the way through, I was like, why do I remember every single one of these episodes? It's like, I blocked out the memory of like every Tuesday night or whatever night it aired being like, it's time to watch Glee. I have to watch Glee. Like I just like blocked out that memory. I so vividly remember being like, I don't remember watching any of these, but but I remember every single episode, if that makes any sense. But they took Lee off Netflix. I don't know what it's on now. I do have a lot of streaming services. I love a good streaming service. I have like mixed feelings on a lot of streaming services, but I love having all the streaming services. I don't have all of them, but I'm like, some of them are really, really useful. Like when Disney did it first, I was like, that makes sense because it's Disney. There's so much Disney property and Disney like creations out there. It can totally have its own streaming service. And then everybody else also wanted one. And I was like, some of it makes sense. I was really skeptical of Paramount Plus at first and then I realized how much was on there. This is not sponsored by Paramount Plus though Paramount Plus if you want to sponsor me Hi, hello. I do enjoy Paramount Plus. I have a good time on there. Oh also back to the build for a second Sorry, this is Jayla's room and we went with like a pink and purple vibe But also the yellow walls I really like and there's just a teeny tiny portion of blue wall that I thought was just kind of fun Like I thought like maybe she wants to paint her entire room blue But her moms were like, okay, let's just start with one wall being blue and I think that's really cute And we also watched Jonah's room which which is super, super cute. And I used the banana leaf wallpaper. I kind of only wanted to use it on like one or two walls, but I find it hard to use that as an accent wall if you're not using the other plain swatches of that wall as the rest of the wall. So I just left it. I, I was like, you know what? It's fun for a toddler. I feel like Aubrey and Lulu are like, yes, we can have a fun room for our kid. Oh, and you'll probably see me check the price of this lot a million times towards the end here. I'm super, super happy with how Jayla's room turned out. I think it is so cute. I love how the light comes in on it. I love that there's a little sitting area. There's cute little decor. Now back to the streaming services. I have Hulu through Spotify. I think my parents have HBO Max, so like I have HBO Max. I also have Wow Presents Plus, which is RuPaul's streaming service for like all different types of drag race and drag race content. I hate to say it, I love drag race. It's like my comfort show. I love that show so much. Like as much as I side eye RuPaul for a lot of things, I love drag race. I love how it highlights queer art. And it's fun to watch. Like when, when it gets a little dramatic, it's like, yes. So I like that. I like to watch the 
international versions too. I think that's all I have for the streaming services. I wanted to get AMC Plus, but then I realized Better Call Saul isn't even on it. If you don't know, Better Call Saul is like my favorite TV show ever. It's a sequel to Breaking Bad, which I think is also a very good show, but I think Better Call Saul is a bit more with, with my taste. I've said this a million times. I feel like my Twitch chat could probably say it with me. Like, I think they're both excellent shows, but for me personally, I think Better Call Saul is just a little bit better. But anyway, that airs on AMC and I don't have AMC Plus, but it's not even on AMC Plus or it's not on AMC Plus in the US or something. I don't even know what the whole deal is, but I think the rest of it right now is on Netflix, but it only just got added to Netflix like a couple weeks ago. So we are here in the main bedroom now and I'm gonna be honest, I kind of wish it was a little bigger. I wish we had room for an entire walk-in closet. I think that would have been really fun. Oh, and gallery art in this one is by the iconic MNEWI1103. And so we did kind of like a pinkish purple for the walls. I really love those gallery paintings. I think they fit really, really well. And we did a little sitting area in front. I didn't want to just fill up the wall with paintings and I was getting kind of tired of the other wall decorations and other stuff that I was using. Of course, we needed a pride flag, but I did just add those like wood slats that go on the wall. I think those are kind of cool. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to add laundry in this build, but I ended up adding laundry in this build. It is part of like the main bathroom of the house, but I kind of sectioned it off with a spandrel and a curtain. So your Sims won't like see that as an obstacle, I don't think. They'll walk through the curtain. They might clip through the curtain, but like it won't impair the functionality of the washer and dryer. Also, I did like minimal landscaping in this because it is an Oasis Spring. So I was like, I don't want to do like a lot of like my lush, that's a bold word for my landscaping, but a lot of like my excessive landscaping with bushes all around the house and flowers here and there. And I might maybe give me feedback on this video because I don't know if this um, house is going up on the gallery before this video is. So give me feedback on the video once we look at the house at the end with all the landscaping and let me know what you think. But the reason I chose this lot is because I really wanted like a big side yard side patio for them. I think it could have been better because we started getting low on the budget and I think it just could have been a lot more fun like with a hot tub or fire pit or something but we really just do a pool. Not the spoilers. I probably should have been keeping an eye on the budget a bit more or just given us a bigger budget. I don't know what this eventually in all of everything comes in as with this with this build. I don't know what the price is but it is around 90000 I think the last I checked it was like 89663 or something like that. But yeah the backyard or the side yard I don't even know what to call it is a little bit minimalistic. I'm trying to tell myself that it's okay if every tile in a build doesn't have something in it. I think I used to build so minimally that I started building like, you know, I needed a piece of clutter ev in every single corner possible. And now I'm just kind of like, no, it's kind of realistic that in that walkway out of the side door, you wouldn't have a lot of stuff because that's all it is. It's just a walkway. And then there's a little outdoor kitchen moment. Usually I like to have covered outdoor kitchens, but there is like a tiny lip on the roofing above that, which covers it up, which is good enough for me. And then I kind of forgot that this in here is Aubrey's painter studio. Obviously we needed that. If Aubrey is a self-employed painter. I really like this. I had to make sure that we had like a thousand or eleven hundred in the budget for that artiste's little stand because for some reason that is so expensive. And the canvases, the canvas rack is like 600 simoleons, I believe. So yeah, there is not too much in here. I kind of wish we could have added more and that's my own fault because I don't normally do budget builds. I normally do every room is a different budget or every room is a different budget and size. I love that challenge so much that every room is a different budget and size. I'm always doing that on my TikTok. We're on like season three. I usually do one season and then we do like a different type of challenge and then I do another season and it's always so much fun. So promo, if you do want to follow me on TikTok for a lot of fun Sims build challenges, all I really did was add like some, sh again, Shay Longs or Shay's lounges and a picnic table. But I do love that snowy skate picnic table. But I think we are getting to the last little bit of the speed build here. I'm just adding a few plants, maybe a rock or two and let's just pop on into the game and take a look at this build. So here's what it looks like from the street. As you can see, we did do just a little bit of minimal landscaping and this is the entryway, all my kitchen clutter, and the rest of the kitchen. There's the dining area and the plant nook in that gorgeous lighting. And then just a little bookshelf and sitting area over here. The living area, which actually has a skylight right above it. And then this is the half bath. This is Jonah's room, very cute. It has literally everything you need and more for a toddler. This is Jayla's room. I think this is honestly so adorable. I really wanna play in this house. And this is another bathroom here. I never use either of these tiles, so that's really fun. Oh, also I didn't give them a pet because that's not base game, but in my head they have a pet and here's some pet stuff. And here's the main bedroom over here with the main bathroom. The window's kind of awkwardly placed, but that's okay because it's in the back. And here is the backyard, back patio. And here is the painter's area. And yeah, there it is again from the outside. I love this house. So it ended up at 88,434. That is minus my kitchen clutter, but we're coming in right at the top of the budget there. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would really, really help me out. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and my stream your upload channel. You can do so right up here. And if you want to watch another one of my videos, YouTube will suggest you one right down there. If you 
made it this far, comment glee because I have glee on the mind right now. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!